guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode 3 of my closet declutter. Now I know this is pretty soon after my previous one but I actually want to get through this closet within 6 months so I thought I'm going to have to start filming them more often. You guys love them anyway and I love them, I love filming them, I love watching them, I love everything about them. So I don't really mind and I hope you guys don't mind either. So if you haven't seen part 1 and 2 I'll have a card up above, link down below, all that jazz. But otherwise let's just jump straight in. So today we are going to be tackling something which I will admit I have kind of been putting off in these videos and that is the top shelf here. So I did mention that I had a collection of Wicked cans as you can see and I think the reason I've been putting them off is because I've had these for honestly what feels like 10 years now and I still don't want to get rid of them so I know when I go through this shelf I'm going to have to throw them out and that just breaks my heart a little bit. So we may as well start off with the Wicked Cans. I'm not sure if you guys realise how many are actually up there. I will count them but I'm not sure where this obsession began or how it began. I know why it began, I guess. It's because the energy drink has a really beautiful tin. As you can see, this dragon print. I'll probably do a close-up for you guys, actually. Because not many people know about this particular energy drink. It was always V or Red Bull or everything else. Monster. Monster? Yeah. But no one really talked about Wicked and I tried it and to this day I still think it is absolutely delicious. One of the best energy drinks. And so I started collecting them. I think they were always cheap as well. They were always on sale and I just kind of had a bit of an obsession with drinking them. My friend got me a six pack of them for my birthday. Wow. And that was my 16th. So it really has been nearly 10 years, that's insane. And yeah, I just think they're beautiful. I did a drawing of the can at one point, which I think is in here somewhere. Still so proud of that to this day because there's a lot of detail in this drawing, in this picture, and my drawing replicated that pretty well. So yeah, I collected Wicked Cans. Leave me a comment down below and let me know anything strange that you guys collected because I think I think this is pretty up there and pretty unique. I'm just going to set this one aside and we're going to go through the things that are on top of them and then at the end we'll see how many are here. So this next thing is actually really special to me. It's a boring black suitcase but I loved this little guy. So when we were younger we did the whole you know mums during the week, dads on the weekend and I got this as my little weekend suitcase for going to dad's. So I associate this with going to my dad's and seeing dad, having fun with dad and just dad. So I guess that's why this suitcase, although plain and boring, is very special. And so it is hard to get rid of, but at the same time, it's pretty well used. I wonder if something like that is good for the op shop. Do you reckon? Let me know in the comments, but of course I will ask mum anyway, so she'll probably have already answered my question before you guys do. But yeah, it's still in okay condition, so I feel like someone could definitely get some use out of that. So I'm going to part with it because I don't need it. It is very small for me. This is literally just an overnight suitcase now, if that. So I'm going to part with it. Hopefully it will go to a better home and someone else can create some nice memories as well. Moving on to this because it fell down and something that goes with that is this. And also this. So this was for my 18th birthday party and I had a dream that I always wanted to have a themed party and I decided to go with just a dress up and I knew that I wanted to be Pikachu so no one else was allowed to be Pikachu and then I realized how difficult it was to find yellow items so I ended up wearing this hideous yellow dress which was kind of almost greenish fluoro and it looked atrocious and I literally just bought these to make my outfit Pikachu. So it was really lame and I felt pretty disappointed with it because I was so excited about it and everyone probably thought I was going to have this big exciting costume and it was literally just this tail and some ears. So the story behind these ears is that I obviously tried to make some homemade Pikachu ears and then I'm not sure where these came along. Maybe I thought they weren't going to arrive in time so this was me just trying to DIY it. Or maybe I realised the DIY was so bad that I then went and ordered these. And these are actually pretty good. So I literally just safety pinned this onto my dress and it stayed up pretty well. 
and then these ears are pretty good so they're still in great condition I'm considering keeping them around for the little kids for dress ups well at least the ears these have safety pins on them so I don't think that's really safe and without the safety pins you can't really do anything with it but these are definitely gonna go in the bin and I mean no one wants these at the op shop do they I don't know it just seems silly to keep but also silly to throw out because they're in great condition Next up we have the bunch of soft toys that I'm sure we still all have a stash of somewhere. So the first little guy we have here is actually called Novel slash Attention Man. Not really sure where those names came from but I just know that he was famous in my friend group when I was younger and I still love him. I think my Nana actually knitted this. It's really really cute and really personal so probably good to keep around just for the kids to play with although they are growing up so fast that they probably don't even want soft toys anymore. The next one we have is just a little Sylvester. I think this was from Movie World, you know, when you go to a theme park or Disneyland or something, you just feel obliged to buy something and this was one of those things. But I definitely don't need any soft toys anymore, so I'm hoping that I'm going to be parting with all of these. So this next little guy is my favourite teddy bear. I think we all had that one teddy bear that was our favourite, and this was mine. I actually don't have any particular attachment to any of these, which I'm feeling really good about because it's making it easy to part with. But I know some people really do feel that attachment, so if you do, don't feel bad because it's super common. But yeah, he was good while I needed him, and now he can go make some someone else happy. This next guy is also one of those things where you buy something from a theme park so I actually have two of these. I'm not sure if Jake and I bought one each. I don't really know why we would do that. That seems a bit silly but maybe I said we needed to buy two because we needed one each but these are very cute and I don't need them so if someone else can have them and think they're cute. Next we have two teddy bears. This one, there's nothing super special about this one. I don't really have any memories of it, so that's fine. But this one I absolutely loved. I just think he was so cute and so unique. Just all of the little colors, so adorable. I feel like you don't really see teddies like this anymore, so I love that. And it's still in such great condition. I think someone's definitely going to love and appreciate this guy. Also don't ask why they're all boys. Just thought I'd get through all of the soft toys. So here we have Paddington. I don't actually think it's meant to be Paddington Bear. It's just a foster bear, but pretty sure this is Paddington Bear. I don't know where he came from. I don't think this was actually mine, so again, don't feel any special attachment, but still in great condition and someone will definitely love him. This, on the other hand, is definitely my pride and joy when it comes to a soft toy. So this is a little dog. I can't remember what these were called because there is no tag, but they were one of those collectible type things. So I love this little guy. This is a black lab. I called it Crumpet. We had a black lab called Crumpet that we had to put down. So this will always have a special place in my heart. I'm not sure if I can get rid of it. This is one of those things that I really do have a special attachment to because we obviously don't have crumpet in real life. So always having this little toy actually always made me really happy. I'm actually getting all hot and choked up over a freaking toy. This is ridiculous. But to me, this literally just symbolizes our dog that we don't have anymore. So when I look at him, I feel like I have him so I think I'll allow myself to keep one soft toy and this will be it. I'm not sure if any of you have picked up on how many wicked cans have been revealed but it's quite a few. The next thing we have is this tiny little bag from Colette. I think my sister actually gave this to me to wear to my Deb or formal or something because I was never a bag person so I never had a little bag to use. But this is definitely not something I am drawn to, never something I would use, so definitely going to pass this one along. Next up we have a collection of bags, so starting off with this one. This is actually a brand new fake Prada bag that I'm pretty sure Jake's mum brought back from Bali or something, I'm not really sure. As I said, was never a bag person, but I am often looking for something a bit bigger these days. 
So I might actually see how this goes and give it a go. I might see what it looks like with some of the clothes that I wear and if it doesn't really go then I won't keep it. But even if I don't keep it, it is perfect for the op shop. Even mum might like it. I always have a collection of random bags that I end up passing on to mum because she loves and uses the crap out of them so they end up breaking. Whereas with me, I've only have ever had one bag break that I loved so much. And it's still a sore spot so we can't talk about it. But yeah, I'm just not a bag person. Well, I'm not a bag person unless it's a backpack. Namely a backpack that has a Furby on it. <laughs> So I absolutely loved this backpack, but as you can see, it's freaking tiny. God knows what I actually put in this, but I guess it is a child's backpack. So when you're a child, you don't really have much to lug around with you. But I think this is so cute. We were so obsessed with Furbies. I wish you could still buy them, but not the creepy Furbies that they sell now. The OG Furbies that didn't give you nightmares because the new ones are just literally like robots and it's terrifying. But I love this backpack and it's actually still okay. Maybe it would need a wash or something, but I think a little kid would absolutely love this. Although they might not know what a Furby is. The next bag is this little number. Now, I think old Allie probably thought this was beautiful, but Allie now just thinks this is the most hideous bag I've ever seen. But in saying that, it is actually broken. So if I just remove the strap, and then we have a little clutch, and this would be perfect for the girls to use for dress ups. So although it's hideous and bright and bold, that makes it much more fun for dress ups. So I'm going to keep this one. The last bag we have, well, I'm pretty sure it's the last one, is this one here. Now the story behind this is my friend actually passed this along to me because she felt bad because in like maybe year seven, everyone started bringing shoulder bags to school and they were so fashionable and so fun. But my parents just always wanted us to bring a boring old backpack. So they gave this to me in the hopes that I could wear this to school. And I think I did start wearing it. And then I realized that my parents were right. And the reason that you wear a backpack is because wearing a shoulder bag really hurts. So I would be swapping this from arm to arm all day long, but hey, it looked really cute. So at least I fit in. <laughs> Moral of the story, you don't need to fit in who really cares what anyone thinks. But if you want to wear a bag like this, then go right ahead. But if you're like me, and you only want to do it because everyone else is, then don't bother. So I don't need this now. I'm going to pass this along, but I think someone will definitely love this. I really expected to be throwing so much of this in the bin, but really, so much of it is perfect for the op shop. Next, we have a random sleeping bag. I'm pretty sure this is fine, so I don't see any reason why I would get rid of it. Just might put it in the hallway cupboard because I don't need it. The next thing we have here is my Deb gift from my partner. And as I mentioned in a previous video, I never want to think about my Deb or formal or anything to do with school ever again. So this is actually going to go straight in the bin. The next couple of things I'm just going to quickly run through because they're just things that dad has brought back for all of us kids while he's been traveling. So we have these dolls here, pretty sure these would have been from Kenya and everything he brings us back is obviously handmade with so much love and so much talent and so much time. So I always keep these things around and I think this is adorable. We then have this little dress, I'm sure this is a traditional dress from wherever it came from. It's always hard to remember because dad goes to so many places. It's usually Kenya, but I could be wrong. So he always likes to buy us traditional things, not really to wear, just as a keepsake. And then this one actually isn't from dad, but it is another keepsake thing that was brought back for me. And it was from my sister and her partner, and it was from Japan. So I think this is really cool. And this is actually a shoe that the Japanese actually wear. I have tried it on and it's very much not comfortable, but I think it is really, really cool and really special. And I love Japan as well. The next thing is actually one of those little graduation teddy bears, but I actually moved schools in year 12 and this only has messages from people at my old school. So I'm not really sure how I got this without even completing year 12. Maybe it was a going away thing, but I clearly didn't give people time to sign it because it's only got messages from my ex-best friend and I just decorated it with circles. So I don't know what happened with this, but it's going in the bin. <laughs> the last couple of things are actually more school memories. Ugh. 
So this one is from my primary school, so you'd always get a glass with everyone's name on it in the year level. And then this one is from my actual high school that I actually graduated from. So we got a glass as well, again, with everyone's name on it. So I don't know if I'll keep these. I mean, probably not. I think they'll go in the bin. We then have another bag that I think was for my Deb. I think I possibly used this, but it's so small and so bruised and battered and ugly and worn. So that, I think that needs to go in the bin. And then we have some rubbish. And then my tiara that I actually wore for my Deb. I can't believe I wore a tiara. I feel like it's so cringy. I don't know why I did it. And this is so gross, so rusty and so old but I still think it is quite pretty and I did feel like a princess, but now just looking back on it, no one really wore a tiara. So I just felt like I thought I was top shit. Although I didn't, I just thought it was really pretty, but that can go in the bin. Then we have a pillow, which I made in primary school, I think, of course, with typical tie-dye. I feel like if you didn't have a class in school where you did something tie-dye, you didn't really go to school. So, this is gross, it's gonna go in the bin. And then we have this little onesie. So Jake and I have had these onesies for ages that we call our bear suits, but they're very thick and warm and very much like a winter onesie. So my sister got him and I these summer bear onesies. And honestly, I've never worn it because I think when it's summer, I just don't wanna wear anything, but it is really, really cute got this little bear as you can see and I don't know I just always keep it around because I think it's cute and I thought it was cute that she bought them for us so I'm still gonna keep it excuse me we have a visitor and then wrapping up this video because again it's ended up really long yet I thought this shelf would be so quick I don't know how this happens but we are going to count the wicked can so we've already looked at one we now have Two, three, four, Honestly, I thought I had more. I thought I had over 50 feel like maybe I did at one point, but I actually threw some out and some I actually cut up and smushed into a smaller can because I thought that looked cool. So 32 Wicked Cans. It's been an amazing ride, but I think I finally need to get rid of you guys. I think what I originally wanted to do with them when I realized I was collecting so many was make some sort of art piece or something but I never really got around to it and now I think it's just far too late. The cans are probably honestly dangerous because they're probably moldy and gross. Although I did rinse them all, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, it's finally time to let them go and we're finally done with the top shelf. So that wraps up another episode of my closet declutter. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I am. I actually feel like I can see some good progress coming on in there now. So I'm really, really happy about that and hopefully maybe three or four episodes more and it will be done finally and I can give it a clean and actually have a wardrobe again. So make sure you give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe down below if you are new and of course don't forget to click the little notification bell so you don't miss another video. I hope you're all having an absolutely amazing day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!